Hey all. This won't really be all that long of a play session. I'm going to combine it to the next episode. Um, I'm playing a little bit after uh, I have finished compressing the last bit of um, video footage I was compressing. We're in the elven um, ruins, but here's my plan. I'm actually thinking about my character's, you know, plan from this point on. And I'm not doing terrible or anything, but um, I'm wondering, do I really want to have the movement infusion anymore? And the answer is probably not. I'd rather place her in the teleportation room, which might be work a little bit better for me. I am, however, um, you know, it, it still has some use to movement infusion, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take my character back to um, Dreadfall and look at the um, remaining vaults. And if they're anything good, I'll basically um, run into them and you know, just start killing stuff. And my thing just sort of crashed there because Steam was updating itself. Um, is this any good to me? And the answer is it's got lots of physical save, spell save, mind power, but that's not really stuff I really care about, so. Well, the armor's good, the defense is good. The only thing I'm really giving up is, I guess, the life and the mental save and the stats. Now let's put it on. This is getting really old, this stuff, so let's transfer it and get rid of it for now. Sense foes. I was going to test that. Maybe I'll test that when we get in. Um, but for now, let's just head over to... Get rid of this for now. We'll head over to um, Dreadfall. Look at that, I'm wearing a snazzy robe. My plan for this episode is we're going to clear out any of the remaining vaults if possible in Dreadfall. And then, when, with them cleared out, I won't have very much use for the, for the movement infusion. And I can come back to like the Elven, ruin, or Elven Ruins here. And, you know, with the Teleportation Ruin, I'll have a whole lot of a better chance fighting the boss since, you know, I was teleporting last time quite a bit. So go in here. And any vaults in here, we will start conquering. And nothing here. There wasn't all that many vaults that spawned. Uh, is there any up here? No. I remember there being one more vault. There's like two vaults that spawned. That's it. Down here. Not here. Nope. I remember there being at least two vaults. Where's the next one, though? That's the question. Not on this level, for sure, I guess. Okay, there's a vault here. Um, is it down here? Yes, it is. Okay, hit this open. I got a mold to kill. Oh, shoot. This looks like the um, one that killed me last time, the one with the drakes. Uh, let's activate speed right away. I'm just going to back off. Um, put in a belt. Kill those guys. I killed a wrestling for some reason.
I know there's more of them, but I'm gonna take them, you know, slowly, so I don't risk getting killed. Doesn't look like I've run into any worms that walk, at least, but there could be worms or other stuff to deal with. There it is, the worm. So, we're gonna breathe fire at him, or we'll confuse him first, I guess. There it is over there, the venom worm. Is that something I need, I wonder? Um, ice worm, stone worm, multi hue worms. No, we don't need that one. Apparently, this is still active. Huh. Whatever. Okay, they're not close enough yet. Oh, that one hurt. Do this. He's activating the corrosive, you know, mist. Um, put on a belt. Evade a little. There's apparently a, a rushling hitting me with the thing from before. Let's breathe this on him. And I just want him to come to me for now. Do this. What just happened there? Oh, he did the uh, four venom uh, type strikes there. Stun him. And he died. Wow, that was quick. The thing he did there was uh, um, the four acid strikes where like two are blinding and two are not from like the venom tree. There's another one. Okay, we're just gonna boo of this. Activate this, and evade a little bit. There's the one I scare, I'm scared of. Let's just do that. Do this. Confuse these suckers, burn them. Kill you. Uh, I didn't get the sun off, which is a bit annoying. Death Dance him. He did it again, the um, four strikes. Um, he's at 33% health. Let's hit him. And the next hit should kill him if I use Death Blow. And I knew that was a guaranteed kill. I actually learned a little bit about Death Blow for someone else. Death Blow actually is an instant uh, critical hit when it hits, so you always um, fire off a critical hit when you use the skill, which is kind of useful. Road. Okay, is there anything else in here to kill? It's not too hard to vault. It's just that worm that walks that really screwed me over the last time I was in this vault, I think. Find out was just unfortunate. There it is, the worm that walks. Okay, um... If you recall from last time, this asshole killed me on my rogue, so let's stun him. Sadly, that didn't work, so... Let's just do this. I'm gonna start, start healing up. And... This... Back up again. on the belt. He's somewhere, but until I'm ready to fight him, we'll just wait it out a little bit. This is much more convenient than last time, to be sure. I'll wait 10 um, turns, or a little bit longer, to get all the stuff off cooldown. Belt on, this on, and there he is. He hasn't moved a bit. 
stun him. And he cursed me and put worm rot on me. Um let's burn him maybe. He didn't insta kill on me. Oh wow, I didn't realize they could do that much damage, 800 at once. Well, that's uh, unfortunate. But let's get back there and kick his ass. Um, I'll rest a while, I'm gonna heal up everything. We're going to activate some stuff before I go in. Do this, 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 talk to you. And we're back, and I've got everything on me. He's fully healed again, but whatever. Hit him once. He's still not stunned. Let's try confusing him. And he's still not going down. At least he got confused, so that's good. Um, in, re in relation to the fact that he, uh, you know, is killing me, let's just do Unstoppable before he has a chance to kill me this time. I'll do... Death Dance to kill both those guys. I'll get, you know, 4% health back when I'm done. Kill him. Kill those. It doesn't matter if I'm losing a lot of health. I'm not going to die. Because I got Unstoppable on. Kill that. Uh, killed your target while having only one life left. So that was close. That's an achievement. That's something easy for Berserkers to get, obviously. This is not a vault I'm too happy with, to be honest. Twice I've been killed in this vault, just because of how difficult it is. But it's more so to do with the fact that I don't understand how powerful worms that rot, um, walk are. Get all this stuff. Definitely wasn't worth it coming in here. Oh well. There's a room over there I'm missing. So let's just activate these things again. I'll put this on now. Charge, stun. What little experience I could get from here. And what did we pick up of anything of use? We got Psychic, don't care about this one. Interesting little ring. I don't see anything of uh, worth keeping though. So, we've already done the vault down here. And I'm wondering just Am I missing anything at all? Let's do... Let's do some tunneling down here. Alright, I doubt there's anything here, so... Let's just start getting out of here. Was there really just a few vaults? Only two vaults spawned? Amazing. There's usually like several vaults that'll spawn Dreadfall, but I must have got unlucky and only got a few. Just gonna check down here quickly. This way. It's too bad, but that seems to be it. I've done everything in Dreadfall except for the ninth level, believe it or not. That Worms of Walk not really being worth it, but...
All right, well, that's it for now. I'm not gonna screw on anymore trying to find what doesn't exist. Let's do something up here. Blah. The wrong keys there. Alright, not seeing anything. So, my movement infusion is pretty much lost any use for itself. Um, the main thing that I really like about the movement infusion is that it lets me um, run around really fast to get out of vaults, but I'm not going to be really worrying about vaults from here on out, so let's just um, replace it, I think, with the teleportation room for now. Which will be a good escape tool, um, considering the fact that I can use it to uh, basically reset battles with stuff I don't like. I don't like the battle that's um, going on right now. Teleport away. That's the whole gist of it. So put this on. And we'll use it over movement. And there we go. I suppose uh, before I go, I'll... Oh, look at it. We got the rare... We got the rare unique mold. Siskriti. Um, Let's go here. Hit you. There's the lore. Didn't drop any drops from him because he's just easy regardless. There's a mummy. Wonder if I need any of the drops from mummies for any future um, Brother of the Alchemist quests. Let's go this way. Do 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 do. You know what, this is a good time to use the gloves to see how this works. Let's do this. Night Hunter. And I'm going to activate these gloves. Oh, he's back. Well, next thing that goes invisible, I'll try these gloves to see if how the sensing works. If it's anything good, then it might be better than, you know, having this right here. Why? Oh yeah, the worm that's just doing that. Okay, orchestra um, sort of hurts. Let's do this. Heal up. Do this. Death dance. And unstoppable. And boom. I got Drake's Bane. Very nice. Stun you. And full health from killing everything, because that's what unstoppable is good for. Getting full health. Got Drake's Bane, but that's really no good to me. That's a nice cloak. Honestly, that's a really nice cloak. Oh yeah, there's something I was thinking about. Um, my son freezing me isn't at full, but if I put on this cloak, I basically get full... Stun immunity, so I don't have to worry about getting frozen by the, by the vampire again, the boss, the master. It'll also be useful against um, other stuff too. I'll keep these for now, but... Actually, I probably want to get rid of this. This is okay, but... No, I'll keep it for now. It's still good. It's still worth it. There's something that, um, I, I can use it for. Let's clear this level. I dazed him. Uh, there's some lore to read if you want. That's not it, is it? This is diggable. Alt zero.
This is all dug out, luckily. Don't want this battle axe. Not good anymore. It's not powerful enough. Kill you. Death Dance. Oh, Skeleton Mage. Do this. Stun. Oh, he went invisible. Okay, um, I know he's there, but let's see what this does. Uh, it doesn't let me see invisible creatures, Sally, but it lets me see stuff around me. So these gloves are okay. They're not completely awesome, but they're okay. So, I won't keep them, but... Um... We'll go back to Worm Breath. And... Honestly, I'm tempted to use these Juggernaut Gloves. But we won't worry about that just yet. More Papyrus Scroll. Um, that's not a bad helmet. Uh, I like the Blight Resistance on this. Because, oh, it's Arcane Disrupting, never mind. If um, I get like a helmet of Arcane Disrupting, that, that'll be, or not Arcane Disrupting, but um, something I can use for uh, fighting the Master Corruptor. That's just more I can use, right? So. Ooh, a demon. Um, I got disarmed. That's fixable. Do this. This. Cryomancer. They're all dead. Okay, is there anything I'm missing? Because... Honestly, there's lots of space left. Nothing this way, apparently. Nothing that way. And it looks like we're done this level. I'll put back on this for now. Alright, that's enough for uh, this little video that I'm going to be doing. My intention will be to say, you know, clear out this area, try and get myself up as much as possible to um, level 30. And if I don't get to level 30, we'll actually do a little bit of something else before going to confront the master once and for all to see if I can beat him. Take care for now. So I'll see you guys in the continuation of this episode. Ah, uh, a new day, and it's time to continue. Whoops, I just hit the wrong button. Okay, well, um, we're not doing a new game. We're going to continue the old game, where I continue off in the Elven Ruins. After dying horribly to that worm that walks. I don't assume I'll have any real problem against the um, greater mummy that's going to be in here. Uh, interesting. And I've actually thought a little bit about um, this vision ruin. Since sensing isn't exactly the same as seeing stuff, this doesn't exactly have a whole lot of use to me, so we're going to get rid of the vision ruin. And we're keeping that for water breathing. And that'll just be useful for him too. So onward, and we've got a Drake right at the start. Okay, um, 
activate this right away. And we will do Stunning Blow, Death Dance, hit the Drake some more, hit the Drake some more, hit this Hatchling, that Hatchling, this Hatchling, this Hatchling. Kill the Invisible Mummies. Says so dripping acid. My greatest fear, I assume, um, in the open rooms would be just you know having that same sort of problems as the uh, greater mummy just doing a whole lot of damage. But I'm not too fearful of it happening again because this character has hit points, unlike the Archmage. Of course. I shouldn't say that so lightly because guess what happened when I had that um, worm that walks kill me there. And what do you know, there's the boss right now. What's up, boss? Let's do this. I will activate Grace of the Eternals. We'll do a war shout. And he is confusable, very nice. He's also um, burnable because he's not fire resistant. For some reason, not really coming after me, even though he's supposed to. Let's charge him, man. He fails to use invisibility. How nice. Okay. Stun him. And he went invisible on me. Let's do perfect strike so I can hit him. And death dance. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him again. Him again. He's running. He's still running. He's fleeing. And would you believe I um, already killed the um, the boss just like that? Uh, Stormrear Gauntlets. This pair of fine mesh fortune gauntlets is covered with glyphs of power and a spark of azure energy. What do you do? There are tier 3 items that give me res resistance to lightning. They actually up the cap. They give me a critical multiplier of 20%. Change my magic stat. They give a spell critical chance. And they can be activated to chain lightning. That's an okay thing, but they're not really meant for me. They may be more for... Um, an arcane blade, I think, than anything else. This other stuff... None of this other stuff really interests me too much. It's too bad this one tier 4, I could use it for sacrificing to the spell Hunter Glows, but oh well. Alright, what am I going to get over here? I've been slowly and, you know, truly getting this thing up, but now it's time to get other stuff, I guess. Let's get Secret of the Eternals. That will be good for going invisible. And over here, let's bump this up a little bit more. And we'll bump up a little bit more cunning. How's my critical chance looking? 43%, so it's still pretty high. Um, there's the Secrets of the Eternals. We're going to do this. Drop it down, do this, and we'll wait for it to... There we go. So, Secret of the Eternals, I can become invincible at 21% uh, for 5 turns when hit by a blow that does at least 10% of my total life. I could actually up this a little bit more so, um, you know, the chance increases, but just having 1 is good enough for now. Actually, thinking about it, I'm getting really close to my first um, Prodigy point. Let's look around at some of this stuff while we're, you know, at it. Um, I was actually thinking, since I'm getting Cunning up, perhaps I might look at the Cunning stats too. One of the things that I might want to look at... Um, I don't have this, so I can't get it. Let's see here. Anti-Magic, I don't have that. Uh, level 30, Cunning 50. 
Learn a new talent category for Armona below uh, at 0.9. Unlock group 1 categories are available to anyone. Group 2 are available only to people without spells or ruins. And group 3 are available to follower, not available to followers of Ziggur. So I can use this to unlock a talent category. Learn a new category from one of the below. Hmm. Well, that's not really interesting to me. So it doesn't really work for me. Um, that's a staff, don't care about that. Fast as lightning. When moving at 800% speed for at least three turns in the same direction, you become so fast you blink through obstacles as if they were not there. That's sort of hard to get going. All physical criticals reduce the raining uh, cooldown a random technique or cutting down by two. That's something worth getting. All spell codes choose to remain cool down around the spell by one. What this means is basically whenever I do um, a critical, I'll make a random technique or cunning town um, reduced by two. So I can get like stunning blow reduce quite a bit there and our stuff. Endless blows. Um, don't care about that. Apparently I've, I've dealt over 50% arcane fire, cold, lightning, light, or nature damage for some reason. Don't know how I did that. Surround yourself with elements of error when you deal a critical hit with an element. Blah blah. blah. That's for spellcasters. Don't care about those. So, of this stuff down here, I guess what I lo might look after is Eye of the Tiger. And the other stuff. Don't care. I didn't let uh, Melinda get sacrificed. That's something you can do. Bunt Spring. When a single blow deals more than 200% of your total life, a torrent of blood gushes from your body, creating a bloody tidal wave for four turns that deals. Light damage heals you for 50% of the damage done and knocks back foes. That's the interesting thing I could have picked up, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, Corrupted Shell is probably not something I can get because I can't uh, save or, you know, side with the uh, Master Corruptor. Draconic Body would be worth getting, but it'll be a while before I'm able to get it. Beelies Infusions, don't care about that one. I'm not going to get this, you know, to the point where I'll be able to use it. Never stop running. While this town's active, you dig deep in your stamina reserves, allowing you to move without taking a turn, but cost 20 stamina for each tile you cross. That's worth uh, running away with, but I'm not sure I really need it. That's cool, but not really what I'm after. And over here we got strength. Each time you make a melee attack, you have a 6% chance to do an additional unarmed attack. I uh, don't care. I can carry the world. You are strong. Fatigue and physical exertion mean nothing to you. If you finally set to zero and current is increased by 500, cool. But probably never worth it. Irresistible Sun. For six turns, you gain the mass and power of the star. Folks that take up the hunter damage, damage will increase by strength. That's possibly interesting. That could be cool to use with uh, Death Dance. You pull him in and you strike him for lots of damage. I haven't really been training strength to like maximum, so probably not that great. Um, this would be good if I want to get exhausted masteries, but yeah, it's probably not something I really care about. Massive blow. You deal massive blow to your foe, smashing it with half of weapon damage and knocking it away. Knockback makes it, it hits a wall, it'll smash down the wall and deal additional 3% weapon damage. That's um, interesting. No, the Rush Town Steamroller. When you rush, the creature you rush to is marked. If you kill it in the next two turns, your rush cooldown is reset. So that's something that lets you rush constantly. That could be useful. Each time the effect triggers, you gain a stacking 20% damage buff up to 100%. Now that's interesting. Superpower. A strong body is key and a strong mind. A strong mind is powerful and make you a strong body. Grants a mind power bonus equals 20% of your strength. Interestingly, you treat all weapons as having an additional 30% willpower modifier. That's, uh, for some reason, my uh, tome thing crushed there. You shall be my weapon. 
I'm not big, so... Don't care about that. There's some interesting stuff I may pick up, but I'm I'm thinking I may actually want to get I have a tiger over here first. Because my criticals are so high at this point. We'll see what I get. There's lots of stuff that may be useful to me. Let's just pulverize everything in here. There shouldn't be anything that can kill me except for the occasional rare like you know before. Do, 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 do. Hey, look, I'm invisible. Thief. Heal up. Let's war shot these guys. Let's burn them. I couldn't see him, but I knew where he was. Aegis Casimir Wizard Hat. That'd be great if I had access to... You know... Arcane Shields and such. Or the category, rather. That's just sensing. Wait, was that the only uh, mummy wraps I got? Yes. So I got a, uh, another delving there. I don't know why I'm checking the mummy wraps. They probably won't be worth using at all. There's a shielding ruin. Lots of empty space here. Where's the tunneler? There it is. Uh, did I just pick up a trident? No, that's a mace. Or a battle axe. Ooh. A high cro um, chronomancer is not something to take lightly. Let's back off. And... I think he missed me. And hit his friend there. Uh, I still have the evasion over here. But let's take this off for now since I'm not really using it. Um, pin you. Let's rush the high Crowmaster, stun him, and he's dead. Didn't even get a chance to do anything. Ooh, 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 it's a Naga! Revenge! I got to kill this guy who killed my summer so long ago. Before he stands a tall figure, a very high um, tall figure, blah blah blah. Let's take this asshole. Boom! Boom! And there's this trident. So I managed to kill a Naga, which means I managed to get a Naga Tongue. Which means I can go to Maris and get um, the Elixir of the Savior. So what do you know? We managed to get an ingredient here I didn't expect to pick up. Do, 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 do. I'm so happy now. Alright, stop hitting me. Do, 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 do. This, you know, slowly killing everything. Ooh, mummy wrap rare. It went invisible too. Um, heal up, shield myself. Do this. Perfect strike. It's dead. And it dropped. Um, maximum life ten, life free gen, maximum cooldown. So that's an okay thing, but it's not good enough really for me to use. Getting lots of stuff, but nothing really worth keeping. Bindings of Eternal Night. That is um, a rare mummy item that you can only get here, I believe. 
Uh, change resistance, negative 20 fire, but gives me blight resistance. Sort of laughable. The worst tree is being undead, though. There's the way out. And we're almost done exploring this place, I think. Oh, look, just more. More mummy wrappings. Alright, that seems to be it. Now before I go, um, is there anything I'm missing over here? Or up here? The stuff, stuff is diggle, right? So I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Doesn't seem to be that there's any, you know, hidden passageways that I'm missing. You know what? I feel like doing this just to test. It goes a, a little bit of distance to that uh, teleport. So this is still worth it. All right, let's go get our um, thing from Maris, the potion. I really did pick up quite a bit. All right, Maris, what's up? Into Elvia we go. And for some reason, I don't see my uh, Secret of the Eternals sustain over here. So does that mean it's just not showing or what? No, it is off. I wonder if it, um, it's one of the things you have to keep activating. Or if it won't work. That'd be annoying. Maris, what's up? Uh, Styre cooked up the elixir of avoidance. What have you got for me? Uh, I can get Mastery for four additional stat points. I don't exactly want to uh, help Maris complete this thing again because I've already done it. But I won't complain if I if you know that's uh, something that will happen. Um... Durf is over here. He's already, or the guy in Durf has managed to get uh, Voidance complete without my aid, and he's managed to do the precision. So, if I can help him, that'd be great, I guess. Because he's closest. These guys over here, Grimly and Ungrel, they're a little bit off from, you know, getting a full completion. I didn't get the level 30, so we're going to be doing something. Before we go back to try and take on our uh, boss that we want to take out, get my saving froze. I should probably uh, invest in a town for spell spell shield down here eventually, but maybe we'll worry about that later. I'm still focused on this stuff over here. I used to actually think that I didn't really, really think much of the Berserker, but it's actually a really fun class. It's really well designed. There's a lot of stuff I really like about the class. I mean, after you get into like, the groove of this game, like where you're actually using actions to do everything else and this and that. Let's go up this way. So, there's this um, 
exploratory portal here, right? I think what we're going to do, this is sort of hint at what we're going to do in our next, next episode. We're going to go to the um, exploratory far portal and see what I can do with, um, you know, being able to uh, explore and all that. You know, before we go, though, actually, we'll save that for later. Uh, this is enough for this episode. Pretty happy about how far we've gotten. Hmm. All the good stuff I've got. Alright, enough looking around. I'm pretty much happy at this point with this how this character is progressing. I'm actually warning uh, again about this thing here. Knockback and pinning me is cool and all, but... Actually, the accuracy on that's really worth keeping it for. Maybe I'll keep it for that and I'll use it against that Ruin Banshee when I see it. But for now, that's enough for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. We'll try and um, check out the Exploratory Fire Pole next episode.